Hello, my name is Laurel Sayer, and I'm President and CEO of Perpetua Resources. Before we jump in, I just take a minute and acknowledge our new name, Perpetua Resources, which we believe better reflects our values and vision. Our vision is to develop and operate one of the highest grade open pit gold mines in the U.S., provide the country with a critical mineral to power batteries that enable the low carbon energy transition, and restore an abandoned brownfield site. I'll quickly point out our disclaimers on slide two. Perpetua Resources investment thesis has never been stronger. First and foremost, we plan to redevelop one of the largest, lowest cost and long life gold projects in the US. Given our low cost, the Stibnite Gold Project has great economics with a 15 year reserve life and a payback period of less than three years. And we have a valuable byproduct in antimony, which is a critical mineral, and Perpetua can reestablish primary production in the US and play a key role in the clean energy value chain. Our project is located in one of the best mining jurisdictions in the world, and we have strong community support. The strong support we have in Idaho has been built over the last decade as our communities and politicians have seen our commitment to responsible mining and restoration at Stibnite. We are well positioned to deliver environmental solutions and create value for all of our stakeholders. One of the many reasons we are so unique is because we will take an area abandoned after 100 years of mining activity, most of which was to support World War II and the Korean War, and use a sustainable approach to restore the environment and develop a modern mining project with a critical mineral production. We get to solve environmental issues through funding and development of our world-class asset. In the next couple of slides, we will touch on our project highlights. The Stibnite Gold Project is one of the largest independent gold reserves in the United States with 4.8 million ounces and is the fourth largest reserve out of all US gold deposits. In total, we have 6 million ounces of measured and indicated resources with an additional 1.2 million ounces of inferred resources. This slide does not include our significant antimony endowment, which has reserves of 148 million pounds and 206 million pounds in measured and indicated resources. When it comes to open pit gold mines, we have one of the highest average gold grade with approximately 2.2 gold grams per ton in the first four years of production and 1.4 grams per ton over the 15 year mine life. Our annual production will average approximately 300 ounces per year over the mine life and more than 460,000 ounces per year in the first four years, which would make it the largest producing mine in the US outside the Nevada Gold Mines joint venture. The Stibnite project will be powered by the lowest carbon emissions grid in the nation. Our ability to source low cost Idaho hydropower combined with a low strip ratio and an antimony byproduct credit of $70 per ounce. We are well positioned in the lowest quartile of the global cost curve. Life of mine, all in sustaining costs will average less than $650 per ounce. And in the first four years, it will be less than $450 per ounce. All of these factors will allow the mine to generate a strong free cash flows, averaging 584 million for the first four years of operation and $300 million per year over the 15 year life. Our project's free cash flow profile demonstrates exceptional values at different gold prices as well. Using our base 1600 gold price, the project has an NPV of greater than $1.3 billion using a 5% discount rate and delivers an internal rate of return of more than 22%. We have good leverage to higher gold prices as well, where the NPV increases to approximately $1.9 billion at 1850 gold. But most importantly, our project is resilient to lower gold prices given our solid position on the cost curve. Based on our current market cap, we are trading at nearly the widest discount to NAB despite achieving significant milestones over the last year. At current prices, our stock is trading at less than 20% of our net asset value, 
and we believe this represents a very attractive entry price for new investors. Now I'll touch on our strategic and valuable byproduct, antimony. Antimony has been identified as one of the 35 critical minerals given the U.S. has no primary production, and China, Russia, and Tajikistan dominate the world's supply with more than 90% of global production. The U.S. Department of Interior have defined critical minerals as metals and non-metals essential to economic and national security, which are vulnerable to supply chain disruptions. Earlier this year, Canada published their critical mineral list and antimony was included, following in the footsteps of Europe, Australia, and the US. Historically, antimony was used for its properties of strengthening alloys, making them resistant to corrosion and as a flame retardant. Currently, antimony is being used in bearings for wind and hydro turbines, tinting for solar panels, cell phones, semiconductors, plastics, and cable sheathing. And most notably, it is also used in a low cost liquid metal battery. Looking forward, our antimony will be used to help power the liquid metal battery on a commercial scale and fundamentally change the way power grids operate. The current administration has made it clear that securing America's critical minerals supply chain is essential to our national and economic security. And we couldn't agree more and are ready to be part of the solution. In fact, our project alone could supply more than 35% of annual U.S. demand over our first six years of production. Perpetua is proud to help reestablish domestic mine antimony production in to protect America's energy future and defense future. We are excited and we are proud to, re to have recently signed a strategic agreement to supply antimony, a portion of our antimony production to support the commercialization of AMBRI's liquid metal battery. Our agreement establishes the foundation to help facilitate the decarbonization of energy grids in the US and around the world. AMBRI has developed an antimony-based low-cost battery for the long-duration daily cycling energy storage market. Their batteries are both efficient and safe. Our project will provide AMBRI with antimony from the only responsible and domestically mined source of the critical mineral in the US. Our current minimum supply commitment can power over 13 gigawatt hours of energy storage. And to put that in perspective, that is more than eight times the total additions to the US energy storage market last year. The part, this partnership underscores the role modern mining can play in solving the world's climate change challenges and direct, directly links the restoration and responsible redevelopment of our project to achieving our nation's energy goals. Perpetua Resources Restoration and Mitigation Plans provide early action on water quality and legacy feature cleanup, as well as concurrent restoration and reclamation for any new disturbances. The project will ultimately improve water quality, restore fish passage that has been blocked for decades, and clean up legacy tailings and waste sites. I personally have been a long life advocate for conservation and my passion is in environmental restoration. I believe strongly that industry and the environment can and we must work together to restore the site. Before we move into our upcoming milestones, I think it's important to provide some context of where we are today. We began environmental study work and feedback gathering in 2010. In 2016, we submitted our plan of restoration and operations to the U.S. Forest Service, which kicked off a four, our four plus years of regulatory review under the NEPA process. We continue to gather feedback, advance environmental reviews, and submitted a modified PRO in 2019. Then in August of 2020, the forest released their draft environmental impact statement with a 75 day comment period. There were 10,000 letters received and 85% of those letters were positive. Perpetual Resources listened and acted upon the feedback provided by community members, tribes, environmental groups, and cooperating agencies and incorporated their feedback into the modified proposed action submitted to the U.S. Forest Service in December of 2020, which was designed to reduce the project footprint and improve environmental outcomes. The forest 
has been reviewing the public comments and our modified proposed plan. And just last month, published a schedule update, including a well-defined path forward. The remainder of the NEPA process is now focused on our modified proposed plan with two identified access routes as the Forest Service eliminated two alternatives from further consideration. So over the last decade, we have been diligently and thoughtfully advancing study work and progressing through the permitting process while continually improving and refining our project. Throughout the presentation today, I've covered several of our recent achievements. And I would also just highlight that we recently included, were included in the Russell 2000 Index after listing on NASDAQ earlier this year. And earlier this month, we raised gross proceeds of $57.5 million in a public offering, which was oversubscribed and further demonstrates the strength of our asset. We are now well capital, capitalized to advance early restoration and field operations and continue through the permitting process. Looking forward, we have some exciting milestones around the corner. We expect the focus supplemental environmental impact statement to be published in Q1 of next year with a final record of decision in the first half of 2023. Despite all of our recent achievements, and near-term catalysts, we continue to be significantly undervalued relative to our peer group, with nearly all of the pre-permitted projects trading at a multiple of two to four times where we are trading. And some fully permitted gold developers trade at premiums to their net asset value. We expect a significant re-rating to occur as we advance through the permitting process, but also believe there is opportunity today as we begin to share our investment thesis with a broader investor group who recognizes the strategic value of our asset for its antimony, as well as thematic investors looking for companies whose ESG principles are foundational to their business plans, particularly as they pertain to climate change solutions. We also believe there's further valuation upside, given our focus on not just responsible development, but on our commitment to environmental restoration together with a direct link to enabling decarbonization efforts. So wrapping up, Perpetua Resources is unique because we bring solutions. We have a large, low-cost, high-grade open pit gold mine. We will offer the only domestic mine source of the critical mineral, antimony, which will play a key role in leading efforts to decarbonize power grids all over the world. And we will use mine development to fund restoration at an abandoned mine site. Not only is our opportunity unique, but it is also the right time. Our company is trading at less than 20% of our project's value at 1850 gold prices. And we have so many exciting milestones and catalysts just around the corner after a decade of engineering work and stakeholder feedback and regulatory review. As we continue to hit our permitting milestones, we expect our valuation to significantly improve, creating value for our long-term shareholders. And thank you for listening to our presentation today.